Hi everyone and welcome back to Lori's Crafty Corner. Today's layout is another layout for Mini Man May where I'll, make, where I'll be making some 10 boy themed layouts. This would be the fourth sketch that I used by Brianna Lepper and I'm using, I'm going to try and use up the last bits and pieces that I have from the kit that I purchased. Now the sketch that she designed calls for um, sort of using triangles. So I'm cutting down the paper, the patterned paper that I like, that I would like to use for this picture. And I'm not measuring or anything. I'm just making sure that I have triangles and um, cutting them down so that I can add them in. Now, true to my style, I will be adding some mixed media to the layout um, in just a bit. I don't add a too, I don't add too much of it, but I do add just enough. I cut this card down because I thought I was going to use it, but I don't end up using it at all. Once I have all the triangles cut, I decide to trim my picture just a bit. It was true, it was a true four by six, but it had a lot of empty space around it, so I decided to trim it down just a bit, and I'm gonna mat it with this black polka dot paper. I know the picture is black and white, and you know, why did I add a black polka dot paper around it? Because I just wanted to create like that stark black border. I am going to mat it with this blue one too, so um, it all works out in the end. Once I'm done with my picture, I start to assemble my layout, but the first thing I do is sort of place where the uh, place the patterned paper where I think it'll work better. Um, I do go back and forth, rearranging some of the square uh, squares, <laughs> some of the triangles. Um, I make sure that I have that I try. I, I make sure to to balance out the colors. And I don't mind if the papers are, um, how, how do I explain this? If they overlap a bit, I just want to make sure that in the end it all looks good. I decided to change that up a bit because it just felt a bit off, but now by arranging them like this, it just works out better. So before moving on to adding my mixed media, I go ahead and glue the pieces of paper, patterned paper together to make sure that I don't mess them up. And then I grab um, this green color is called um, Wow, I forgot what the green one is. Oh, Hermit the Frog. It, actually, no, sorry. It's Keep Palm. And the blue one is Jenny B. Blue. And while that dries a bit, it doesn't take a whole long while to dry. I start looking through my embellishments. Um, I cut out these um, rainbows, but I don't end up using them. And... Um, yeah, just trying to go over some of the leftover strips of paper that I have because I do want to follow the sketch as best as I can and the embellishment clusters that the sketch has are, um, are they have like strips of paper on them. So yeah, so once, you know, I get over that, I go ahead and start sticking things down my picture has cracked foam beneath it. I go ahead and add that in and look at that. Look at that piece of black paper. It like, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it like tells you like, look here, look at the photo. I love it, I love it. Anyways, so let me tell you the story behind this picture. Because really, you know, I'm just assembling my layout and you'll see that I'm adding in, um, strips of paper, some embellishments, and whatnot. So the story behind this picture is that um, at our church, we have um, the church nursery. And even though 
the two kids that we watch are my two sons. Um, I am part of the nursery watching committee. <laughs> um, so this day, he it was my turn, and for some reason, he wanted to play Wendy's. Now we don't have a toy cash register at the at the nursery, but he made it up that he would he this you know where he's peeking through it's actually a toy boat that you open up this little window and you can see straight straight through the the boat and he was using connect four tokens as money and he was like okay mommy i want you to play wendy's um what do you want for food and i would be like okay um do i have do you have this no do you have that no and you know well like what do you have and he was like okay chicken nuggets and french fries and blah 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 and the cute thing about it was that he was like hey welcome to wendy's you want food something like that and i was just like blown away by his imagination and um I decided, wait, 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 stop there. Wait, 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 let me take a picture just to remember this by. So back to the picture. Oh, and yes, I did have to pay with the Connect Four tokens. So yeah, I loved it. Anyway, um, I added my journaling on a piece of leftover vellum just because, I don't know, I just wanted to add a little bit of interest to that. I'm adding in some florals from the Coco Vanilla Studio Sunkissed collection and after I add them I go ahead and add some dots. These are from Shimmers and I'm thinking yeah I do add three of them if I'm not mistaken and I also add some puffy stickers from the Coco Vanilla, Vanilla Studios Sunkist collection. Now, in case I forgot to mention it, I am hosting a Shimmers Paints giveaway, so check out the description box below. I'll also link Brianna Lepper's social media handles be below so that you can check out her gorgeous work. And yeah, I'm almost done. With this, I'm just adding the final bits and pieces because this is the last layout with this um, collection because I've managed to use up basically like 95% of the collection. I do have some embellishments left over, but those can be easily added in to the two other layouts. So, and then to finish everything up. I'm adding some My Clementine um, splatters. And that's it. Here are the close ups. I love this layout so much. And I hope I've inspired you. Please check out the other layouts that I've made so far for Mini Man March. And I'll see you back soon with another process.